Hey, what's up guys? Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV. So based on my recent reviews of the smartphones and tablets from Huawei, we all can agree that the hardware and the software optimization is really good. So in this video, I'll be showing you what's the best method or a simple guidebook on how you can experience the full software potential to use all your favorite apps without typically trying to install or cracking your head on Google Play Store. So keep watching. Now first is to use the phone clone app. So how it works is that you just have to clone your previous Android device to your brand new Huawei device and you're done. Yep, it's that simple. Well, the process of the cloning is pretty straightforward where you just need to determine which is the old device and which is new, where in this case is the Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G and after you're done scanning the barcode from the other Android device with your current Huawei device, select all the data and you're done. So as you guys can see, the typical apps like WhatsApp, Facebook and Instagram will be automatically be cloned to your new device. But here's a catch for it. As you guys can see that some apps are missing. So for this, you can either download it from the Huawei App Gallery or if it's gaming related, you can download it from the app's official website or you can head to the third-party safe marketplaces like Appetoid, APK Pure and Aurora Store. But what about Gmail app and what about the YouTube app? Well, just like the iPhone, you can log into your Gmail through the email app within the device itself where it is super fast and simple where you just have to open the email app, choose Gmail, hit continue to go to the authorization page, enter your email ID, hit allow and just like that, you're done. And it gives you the option to install Gmail or other email service providers like Yahoo, Hotmail, does anybody still use Hotmail? Hmm. And many more. So next, let's talk about YouTube. Now, as a tech YouTuber myself, having YouTube in my phone is pretty important. Now, you can always watch YouTube through the browser app itself, which still works perfectly. But if you insist of having an app-like experience, I would recommend YouTube Vans, where you can download it from the third-party marketplaces as mentioned, or you can head on to the official site. So if you guys are getting it from the YouTube Vans website, First, scroll all the way down until you find Micro G, then download that APK file. After that is downloaded, install that Micro G APK first. Next, go back to the official site again. This time, scroll until you see non rooted devices and hit download and select White Duck theme. Download that APK file. Next, install that file and you're done. So this app is like YouTube on steroids where you can block ads and also do other customization as well. But to be honest, I still love the YouTube app. But through this method, you can still enjoy my content either through the browser or through this app. Now, as for the second guide is for you to download the apps directly through Huawei's own app gallery. Now, just like how there's a logo which says available on the App Store and get it on Google Play, you can now explore it on the App Gallery. So why App Gallery, you ask? Well, contrary to popular belief, the App Gallery is way more secure and you can have more storage options and the rewards over there are great as well. So in terms of being secure, the developer does frequent inspections on the typical fraud apps and scan for viruses to ensure that the apps there are safe. So that's a great point. And what's cool is that other than the apps available natively in the gallery, you can actually search for apps like Facebook as it directs you to the official site to download the app if you guys did not install the clone app already. Then the same can be said for WhatsApp where it will open the WhatsApp site for you guys to download. And if you guys want banking related access, once you type in RHB, for example, in the app gallery, it brings you to the official banking site of RHB. So you are ensured that this is 100% safe and authentic rather than just going through the browser to search, which could potentially bring you to a fraud website. Then as for the storage option, there is the new feature called Quick Apps, where once you scroll all the way down to the Apps Gallery, you should see a section called Quick Apps, where these apps does not require to download or install, where you can just use it right away. Now within that, hit the More tab under the Quick Apps, where you'll find a whole collection of apps. 
Now apparently there'll be more apps that will be added within there in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Then as for rewards, there's up to 50 gigs of Huawei Cloud Storage, which you can claim your first 5GB Huawei Cloud Storage for free just by going to the settings. Next, hit Huawei ID, Cloud, then hit Upgrade Cloud Storage Space and claim the 5 gigabytes Huawei Cloud Storage, which I've already claimed my 5 gigabytes of storage. Alright, so that's my quick and simple guide for you guys to use your brand new Huawei device without worrying about being able to use the device, especially trying to crack your head with the Google Play Store. But if you guys have any questions to ask, do let me know at the comment section below. Now, just before I go, please take good care of yourself. Hashtag stay at home. And for me, it's hashtag stay in the studio. And don't forget to wash your hands at least 20 seconds very frequently. So if you find this video helpful, be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up. Like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.